Hello everyone, my name is Gracencia Mora and welcome to my sermon. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for, for this time and thank you for the sermon that we are going to look at. May your Holy Spirit be within us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <coughs> so we are going to look uh, from the book of John 3.16 and uh, I'm going to read from the book of from the New Living Translation fashion. <coughs> Here it says, For God loved the world so much that gave his one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Uh, <coughs> some other versions. They say, um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. <clears throat> now we are going to look from word to word. This is the greatest verse, and it has greatest insight or description in it. And um, <clears throat> the name for means explanation on this verse. For it's explaining the whole verse. God is the source. All being great. God is the source of everything. Is the source of all and everything. Is the source of all this first. <clears throat> Soul loved is the greatest explanation. Expression, sorry. So love it is an express, ex, expression of the biggest source and explanation. The word love it means the heart. Heart means love. Even when we when we when we when we when we even when we study biology, the heart looks like this. So that means heart is love. Loved means heart. It means heart. So loved means greatest explanation expression. The world is the ex, is the greatest extent or dimension that he gave the greatest sacrifice. Nobody in this world has ever made that sacrifice at God as God made it or as Christ made it that he gave can be called also as a gift and um, his only begotten son it's also a gift and a sacrifice you know, when a, when a child is born to the family, they call it a gift from God. Also, the Son of God, the Son of God coming to this world, it was a gift to us, or it is a gift to us. The reason why, let's continue, that whoever is an invitation, it's a message, an, an invitation that's sent to you. Whoever, whoever is willing, it's like a wedding invitation card. Or all other invitations or other celebrations. Believes in him is the greatest term or a greatest condition. 
should not perish. That is the greatest the reference. Or we can call it salvation. But is the difference and distinction. Have possession. The word have means possession. Everlasting life. It's a promise or a hope. Now, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The greatest, the greatest explanation, the greatest source of being great, the greatest heart and expre expression, the greatest extent and dimension, the greatest sacrifice and the gift, the greatest invitation, the greatest terms and conditions, the greatest the difference, the greatest difference and distinction, the greatest possession and hope. So, God is calling us today he has given us a promise. He has given us hope. He has given us a way to the difference. He has given us an invitation card that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever is willing is welcomed to Christ for he will have everlasting life. Everlasting means endless. endless. So we have an endless promise. We have an endless hope from God. The question today is, where is your hope? Who are you trusting in? Do you believe in this gift? Do you believe in this invitation God has given us? Do you believe in this condition? Do you believe in this difference? Do you believe in this explanation or the love God has to us? Imagine if not his love, he wouldn't come and die for us. How much do you think God loves us? Today, you are welcomed. God is welcoming you wherever you are. It doesn't matter the situation you have. It doesn't matter what you are doing. Just turn to him today and you'll get the everlasting life. This promise, this invitation is for you and you are welcome to the Christ Club. Father in Jesus' name, thank you for the word. May we all accept this invitation and the greatest hope so that we can see you on your second coming and we go to the home you want to prepare for us together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.